Action! Go! Well, we did, we did pretty well last year. There's no question about it. Um, and, uh, you, you know, uh, having uh, 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 quite a few girls coming back this year, um, it's, it's they, themselves, they have high expectations. Um, but nevertheless, you know, we are not forgetting that we need to put a lot of hard work, that we need to be patient and uh, basically prove ourselves each year. I know the girls that are returning from last year really are striving for that national championship. It was really hard losing that. I mean, to this day, I still think about it every day. Um, we just really want to win, and I think last year was the final push that we needed just to get us going and to make us more, make us faster. Getting second at nationals was great. It was hands down one of the best experiences of my life. But the girls coming back from last year now know that second's not what we want. We want gold, we want to win, and the girls this year, they want it as well. They're here to help us get that. They want it for themselves, they want it for us. Like we're all ready to just go and take what we feel that we deserve. Um, well, we are a bigger team this year, um, which is really good. Um, um, uh, it's, it's a bigger selection and, and, and it's a lot more competition within the team. Um, and they're all very eager and excited to, uh, you know, be there and practice and, and get better from day in, day out. And it's really exciting to see that, you know, that progression and um, uh, that constant improvement. Um, everyone's doing really great this year. Um, we're coming back faster than ever. The numbers are there. The speed's there. The girls' heads are there. I mean, I can't wait to get on the water and really just show everyone what we've been working on. This year's team is very different from last year's team just because there's a lot more diversity this year. But I think as a whole, we're, we have one goal and that's to make nationals and to win nationals. Um, everyone is working together just for one goal. We do have a lot of international kids and um, my philosophy on it is it's, you know, uh, uh, best uh, talent, you know, um, Whoever that is from wherever country or places is, you know, will be selected to be a part of Bear University uh, team. Um, and it's really nice to actually have a mix from uh, different parts of the world, not just from one country, uh, uh, because they're actually learning quite a bit uh, from each other and they're really um, um, they're bonding in a different way. Well, as an American on the team, it is really awesome to have teammates from all over the world. I mean, I've never rode with anyone other than the people from my next town over. But um, they bring a lot of diversity to the team and they really make us better as rowers because they bring a lot of flavor to the different kind of strokes that we have and we mix together to make one great boat. I love the diversity on the team. They bring so much experience and so much different styles of rowing. We're able to pick and choose between the styles of each part of the stroke and implement them into the best stroke possible. They bring so much experience and they've been racing for so long. I mean, they add so much speed to the team with all the diversity that comes. Bobon's influence is great. I mean, it's different from last year, but it's always going to be different with a uh, different coach. Um, he focuses on our technique more than the all-around power of the stroke, which is good because you need technique to be powerful. Um, he definitely focuses in on each of our own well-being. He wants us to strive more with our uh, grades. Um, he really is excited about the season and he gets us excited by just him being happy every day at practice and pushing us. Bobon's great. He was my coach last year. Um, he handled the four personally. Now he's taking the head coach over the whole team. The difference with Bobon is he okay, wants to understand to us individually, seconds, not as a boat. He 30 wants 30 to push us individually on the water and in the classroom. He cares about each person. He cares about communicating with them on a personal level. 
he's doing great. Well, this first year has been a um, quite exciting year, um, starting with the fall season where, um, you know, we did pretty well at, uh, in a few uh, head races that we've gone to and um, set ourselves uh, um, a, um, a pretty high uh, expectation so as the like, spring season is coming down. And that down. happens a lot with those first four strokes and the fifth stroke you can go back to your regular rowing. So to create the momentum going, you really need to sit up, bury your blades completely. So Stefan, let's remind him of keeping the blades fully buried in and just boom, go for it. Well, our coxswain's influence this year, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, they bring a, a lot of good experience from high school. Um, and then uh, um, the returning coxswain that uh, she was actually last year in a four at the Nationals, uh, which brings a certain um, experience and um, I guess, you know, she puts, you know, different expectations from their teammates on the water and off the water. But another great thing for those two girls is that uh, they get along very well off the water, which uh, makes makes a big difference um, in a practice time or race. Our coxswains are very, very different. <laughs> um, they bring, they make us happy every day. I mean, sometimes we do want to, but um, they really push us to make us better and even they're erging this year and they're rowing with us for the land practices so they get a little taste of what we have to go through every day now. I'm here to make the girls be as fast as they can. I want to make them push themselves. I want to make them push for each other. I want to make them push for a national title. I just want to make them the best that they can be on the water, off the water, in the classroom, in the weight room, on the erg, all that they can be. The funny thing about rowing is we start from day one in the fall, which is like August 24th. And every day up until about March 20th, um, we're training every single day. And there's a few months in there where all we're doing is erging, so that's really tough and it's hard on our bodies. But it's all worth it because going across the finish line first just makes everything better. <laughs> one word to describe us this year is that we're strong. We're competitive, we know what we want, we know what we're gonna do. We're going to be strong in our technique, we're going to be strong with our legs, and we're going to go get it.